It's the big dinner tonight, boy. What's on the menu, man? Have you guys coordinated? So, well, it was coordinated by Grace that we should both cook the same thing. Ah, initiative. Yeah, listen, that's her middle name, man. But she's um, she's got me cooking a spaghetti carbonara, but the, the proper Italian way. And when I say this thing is so complicated, so she better be impressed if I pull this off. Uh, mate, I've got something to tell you. Oh, uh, do you know what? We always suspected it, bro. I'm really... Seriously. What? What's, what's happened? Uh, I'm going to share my screen. Wow. Okay. Uh... <clears throat> I didn't realise it was your grace until I properly checked her profile, man. I mean, have you scheduled a date or anything? Of course not, bro. I, I just wanted to tell you, innit? I'm going to unmatch her as soon as possible. It's fine if she's still chatting to other people, right? Because, I mean, it's still so early. I'd say so, man. And you must be top of the power as well. <laughs> so, obviously, like, date three is something. It's nothing, man. Bruv, if this was in real life, an in-person date, you would be having to escalate things right now. Well, listen, obviously that's off the table because we're not in person, so how am I going to escalate there's, things? There's got to be a way to do it. OK, listen, I'll play it by ear, see what her vibe is, and that's all I've got. <laughs> Unconventional. Good luck. Oh, listen, we'll chat later. Debrief, yeah? Uh, yeah, great. Give us a bell, but um, if you call later on, I might not answer. What do you mean? Why? What's going on? <laughs> Well, your boy has only gone and got himself a little video date tonight, hasn't he? Ooh. No. Ooh. Are you serious? How? What? Who? When? Where? Tell me. Tell whoa, me, tell whoa, me, tell whoa, me. whoa, 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 bro. You know I like to keep it low with these sort of things, man. Asking too many questions and that. Come on, All right, man. OK, do you know what? I won't pry anymore. <laughs> I'll let you go and enjoy this day and then call me or something. We'll debrief properly at some point, yeah? All right, then cool, bro. I'll give you a bell soon, innit? Cool, man. All right, catch you later. Good luck. Peace. Smash it. Grace, wow, you look, uh, you, you look amazing. Thank you. I have a little thing for headbands and I only wear them on special occasions, so consider yourself lucky. Oh, listen, I do. Um, have you got your carbonara there? I do. I was waiting for you to taste test it. So I'm going to do it now. Ooh, it looks really good. Nice. Oh my God, if I do say so myself, that is divine. Right, let's see yours. Let's be having it. Okay, boom. That looks solid. Give it a taste. Okay, cool. Let's twirl it. I think that's what people do. They twirl it on their fork, yeah. Twirl it up, yeah. Put it down, yeah. It's solid. It's probably not like my standard, but it's edible. Okay, acceptable is what we'd call it then. Yeah, okay, we'll go with that word instead. Yeah, no, I can eat this. Nice. Oh. I don't know about you, but I can't wait to have a proper dinner date post lockdown. Yeah. Some nice food, maybe some nice wine, some candles, a good movie, some ice mm. cream or dessert, something romantic, the full works. Out of me and you, who's cooking? Oh, I actually meant at a restaurant. Oh, sorry, my bad. No, but I prefer your suggestion. I guess either of us could cook, but um, what about after dinner? Oh, okay, so I've always loved an apple crumble after dinner. No, no, I don't think you're picking it up. Would you make a move? Oh, oh, do you, oh, okay, uh, that's a change of gears. Uh, you know me. Yeah, yeah I'd, uh, I'd pick a moment and kiss you. You'd land right on my lips. Do you, um, do you have a rule of thumb of how far you'd go with someone the first time you were intimate? What do you mean by rule of thumb? Okay, which base generally do you go to the first time? You're familiar with the bases, right? First, second, third, fourth. Third, yeah, four bases, yeah. Um... Okay, if we, if we keep talking the way we have been, then I, th I think we'd be comfortable to go pretty far. Wow, mister. I mean, 
What can I say? It's been a long lockdown. <laughs> Tell me about it. Um, but you'd still have to be very lucky and hope that I have a substantial amount of wine in me. Noted, noted. Wine and chocolate and you could have a chance. Okay. So, I have a question. If this goes somewhere, what are you, what are you like in a relationship? Uh, that's tricky for me to answer because isn't that best judged by the other person? True. Have you heard of the four attachment styles? No, I can't say I have. Okay, there are four attachment styles that define how we process love and emotion. And they are? So they're secure. That means you're comfortable and confident in a relationship and find it easy to get emotionally close. Okay, and then? Anxious, preoccupied. You're nervous about love being reciprocated. You want emotional intimacy, but you never get it. Oh, okay, that sounds painful. Next. Dismiss avoidant. You're emotionally distant and not comfortable getting close to anyone. Okay, and the fourth is? Fearful avoidant. Dramatic and unpredictable. You want close emotional relationships, but you don't trust or depend on anyone. Okay, and so you want to know which one I am, yeah? Yeah. I'm definitely secure these days, okay. but careful. Some of them are definitely more compatible than others. So shoot. Okay, um, let me just think about those options. Um, think about it long and hard. I'd probably say I'm secure. Snap. Yeah, I'd say I'm pretty level-headed in the relationships in my life right now. And I feel like I'm very available overall. Okay, so theoretically, if I went on a hen do with my girls abroad, would you... Would you feel paranoid if I went MIA for periods? No, no, no. Like, I'd trust you. I mean, a, a little bit of communication would be nice, but go and have fun. I mean, that's fair enough. And radio silence is just unkind. Yeah, no, I don't think it's cool to just completely cut the person off because you're with other people, but yeah. I agree. Um, so that was actually kind of a trick question. Trust you to throw me a curveball like that. Well, I think everyone can be all the attachment styles, depending on who they're with and how much they like them. And their attachment styles? I think I used to be anxious, preoccupied. How come? Just every relationship I ever had made me feel that way. I guess high expectations make you wonder if you're good enough, right? So you, what, you always felt like you had to prove yourself? Yeah, prove myself, sell myself, back myself, the whole lot. Did you ever feel like you had to oversell yourself? No, never. Sorry, I didn't realise I was opening up this much. No, no, this is great. This is the thing about digital dating. It just, it makes you open up. I don't know why. I know, because there are no real life distractions to fall back on. I, I, I have to say, I'm glad, I am glad though. You know, I feel like I've really been able to get to know you. Me too. And I'd like to continue, but I, I kind of feel like we've outgrown the dating app. Um, we should probably exchange numbers. Oi, oi, don't hog the duvet. No, I'm actually quite good at sharing. And forgive me if I fall asleep on the call, I'm quite tired. Well, that's all right. I'm actually curious to see if you snore. Snore? No, I don't snore. You look like you could be a snore. No, I don't. What do you mean I look like I could be a snore? <laughs> You've just got something about you. I... I, I bet you do snore because you're telling me I snore. You're the one that's probably in denial about it. No, I'm not. But that people do have weird habits in bed. Please don't tell me you have any weird habits. What do you mean weird habits? I don't have any weird habits in bed. I get into bed, I get in the duvet. <laughs> I just sleep. Oh, that's a problem. I'm very, I move a lot. <laughs> I'm very, I mean, I starfish. I mean...